Hello guys! Today I will show you how to remove werewolf ears and replace it with humans or elf ears. First of all, let's shave the head. Take off the head. And cut this holder. It's not necessary if you are over 5 years old. But now you can easily put on or take off the head from the body. I use tweezers to remove the remaining hair and glue from the inside of the head. Then I take the exacto knife and use this round seam as a guideline. And now I can take all this trash easily. Ew. To fix the head, I use super glue. Leave it to dry for 4-5 minutes. Finally, let's remove the ears. To close the holes, you will need soapy water, reinforcing mesh or organza, silicone, and I actually don't know how it calls in English, but it's like paper towels, but fabric roll towels. So, take the exacto knife and cut the ear. Try to keep the knife parallel to the head. It will keep the surface flat, without excess resin. Ta-da! Both ears are removed. And now let's repair the holes. Cut small pieces of the mesh. And place it on top of the hole. And more pieces to close the hole. Now take the silicone and spread it on the head. To keep your hands clean, use soapy water. And now place the fabric.
leave it to dry for hour. I already cut the excess of the fabric. So, as you can see, the surface is smooth, flexible and sturdy. So you can make even reroute. And now just use the acrylic band to cover the head. On the Instagram I ask you to help me choose a hair color to Claudine. And the winner is the first option. So I take white and purple acrylic paint. I don't take gouache paint for this because it's not water resistant. If you want to wash or style the hair, the gouache will spread over the head and hair. Now is a fun part, to create human or elf ears from the werewolf. You should just choose the right angle. Cut it with X-Acto knife and glue. She is so cute, isn't it? So now I will make the partly reroute. Partly reroute is like combo from the wig and reroute. The most part of the hair are directly glued on the head. Here I use Angora goat fiber. It has natural wave and after styling is very glossy. I color the hair with fabric dyes. The hair are silky and shiny, long, soft. Mm. I prefer Angora goat fiber instead of alpaca hair. And now it's time to reroute. I will use my custom device. It's needle cut it in the angle and the handle from exacto knife. I take small piece of the fiber, roll a bit. and reroute part and the first row near the face now it's very fluffy but after styling she's gorgeous the hard part of the custom is done now let's make the face up. So that the hair doesn't interfere with painting, I will braid them. I 
I love this gradient. Now let's remove factory paint with acetone. As usual. Cover the face with matte varnish. I decided to make her makeup in purple colors. To get the right purple, I use gouache paint and airbrush. Save the result with additional varnish layer. I draw the eye shape with watercolor pencils. Paint the eye creases. Add volume to the leaves with soft pastel and small brushes. And I add the blush. To remove some pastels, I use melamine sponge. Color the sclera with a white pastel pencil. I decided to make the iris with gradient purple and blue as her hair, so I outlined the iris with turquoise watercolor pencil. And again, for purple, I use an airbrush. I clean the outline with watercolor pencils.
deep the gradient with pastels. In the upper left corner, I count the layers of matte varnish. I paint the eyelashes with the black ink dance pencil. I sketch the eyebrows with pastel and flat brush. Add some shimmer to the cheeks. And nose. Draw some reflections with the white gouache paint and thin brush. And now Claudine is finally done. I add some earrings for her look. Do you like the result? I love this gradient in her eyes and hair. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support my channel, just share this video with your friends. And give me a thumbs up. See you in the next episode. Bye!